What's good, BP Squad? It's Vince Crosby, giving you guys another martial arts workout video. Today, we will be trained to improve our kick control. Now, keys to improving your kick control is to have good hip strength, flexibility, and mobility. All of these are crucial when wanting to throw nice and fluid kicks. In addition, strengthening your deep back muscles, such as the quadratus lorum, will also greatly help. Now, I mentioned before in my three tips to improve your kicking balance and control video. The quadratus lorum plays an important role in keeping your torso upright and stable when throwing kicks, especially hook, roundhouse, and side kicks. Last but not least, it will always help if you have good ankle strength, flexibility, and mobility, as this will also help with improving kicking sharpness, balance, control, and even power. These different muscles and joints will be our primary focus for today. This routine will consist of 12 different exercises. All of them will be done while lying on the ground, making it great for beginners. And so guys, without any further delay, let's go ahead and jump into today's routine. Our timer is set. Now make sure you guys have a yoga mat or a soft surface that your body is lying on. The first exercise we have today is lying side kicks. This exercise is great. Strengthen those deep back muscles. The higher your torso is, the more stress you're gonna feel in your deep back muscles. So right here, kick. Again, we're hitting with that blade of the foot when throwing that side kick. So this is gonna help with ankle strength and mobility. Hike that knee into your chest. Take it out for a split second. Show that you have control of the kick. Right guys, making that switch to the other side now. You ready? Less than 10 seconds, guys. Keep it up. Okay, now we have lying roundhouse kicks. pointing that toe. Remember when you throw your roundhouse kick guys, anywhere from part of your shin with your foot right here, it's a good sweet spot. All right, making that switch. Get ready. Fight for that positioning. So like I said, guys, keep your torso upright. You're gonna really feel those deep back muscles working. You even feel some tension in your lat muscles. Okay, now we have a line kick clockwise circles. So I really love this exercise. Probably one of my favorite ones. The bigger circles that you have, the more stress you'll have, or tension I should say, you'll have within your hips and those deep back muscles. All right guys, we're making the switch to the other side. So I forgot to mention guys, when doing the circles, 
lay to the foot like that, okay? Like you can go as big of a circle, make them smaller. Last couple seconds, guys. All right now we have line kick counter clockwise circles. Now we're going in the opposite direction. Switch it to the other side. All right, guys, hook, kick, swipes. You should really feel tension in your hips right now. Even your boots. You ready? So what this means, striking with the blade of your foot or you're keeping the shape of your ankle like a blade. You want to hit the target, the back part of your heel. Switching to the other side. Couple of seconds, guys. that leg nice and straight throughout right here go across okay guys our final exercise and that's simply Line figure eights. I think it's time to blow this sink and get everybody and their stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's okay. go. Whatever direction you choose, it's perfectly up to you. You can go start off with counterclockwise and form an eight, or just regular clockwise. Switch it up. All right, guys, making that switch to the other side.
go ahead and check that out. That's the end of our routine for today. So hopefully you guys felt that really, like I said, hips, quadratus lumborum, and even that ankle. Great job today, guys. So guys, that's another martial arts routine in the books. As I said earlier in the video, this is great for beginners, but all levels can benefit from this, such as most of my videos. It's always good to keep drilling your basic fundamentals to make you a better athlete. So maybe if you're really advanced, this routine might be relatively easy for you. Use it as a warm up, or when it's later in the week, reduce your intensity by doing this routine. But generally, I strongly recommend for you guys to repeat this routine for three to four rounds. And also be sure to combine this routine along with my other martial art workout videos. But with all of that, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to smash that like button. Most importantly, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you guys next video. Peace and love as always. And now shade. Boom. We out, baby.